What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tree Bad. I have to tell you a little bit of history about me. I started on the Instagram streets. I was a part of the Nature Boy sector long before I even knew I was a part of the Nature Boy sector. I knew about the squad way before I even came on YouTube. As a matter of fact, it was because of one of the members of the squad that I ended up on these YouTube streets of the Nature Boy sector. I thought that I had stumbled into World War III on these YouTube streets, not realizing that World War III was already on the IG street. The war on the IG streets built up to these bombs out here on these YouTube streets. World War Three started with a virus. His name was Nature Boy. He created a virus that spread and breeded narcissists of all kinds, male, female, snakes, trolls, all kinds of creatures have sprung forth from this Nature Boy virus. Very few antidotes have been created. Panaceas, they seem, either providing true facts at one time working in the shadows doing real work or even purifying those who have been infected by this nature boy virus or not infected enough to still be cleansed and be able to stand outside and watch But the fence that has been created either by these good panaceas or by your own direct connection to the universe, you still get pulled in by the influence of this virus. This is not love and hip hop. No, not at all. We could turn off love and hip hop, we could take a break. But this is some real life shit. These are real life people living out who they are in real life, in real time. I don't have answers for anybody. I only have questions. And maybe some of the questions that I ask today are some of your questions. The only thing that I want you to discern from all of these questions are the following. What do they have to do with you? Are you extending your own situation, projecting it onto these people so that you can carry their water and thus become infected by this virus? Are you sure you are maintaining that level of neutrality so that you can watch from afar and not be infected by this virus? Lesson number one, if you are watching, if you are talking about it, if you are listening, you're watching a black screen right now, but when I say watching, I mean watching all the players involved in this war on the IG streets and the YouTube streets and them real life streets that the people that we talking about are living right now. Is it worth being a journalist or a commentator on Fox CN News? Not CNN, Fox CN News. CNNMB News. 
MT Velvet News. That's what I'm talking about. And people who are infected by this virus, they plant their roots on that earth and they grow up into becoming their own narcissists, their own set of liars, their own set of trolls, feeding off the rest of us. Maybe I'm feeding off of you too. I would love to be a panacea to put you in the right space so that you come into that level of neutrality or you start to detox or purge. Not even detox. Because at this point, the one situation that I am connecting to these people that is holding me to them is babies. There's a baby involved. Okay, And as a woman, I want to make sure that baby is safe. So let's put this one thing out here. It's an opinion. Everything from here is in this perspective of mine. And a couple of opinions and a whole bunch of questions. Is that baby safe? If that baby is safe, I don't give a rat's ass about this situation no more. I keep it real with you right now. Velvet's a grown woman, is she? Is she a grown woman mentally? Is she a grown woman emotionally? You see, I was under the impression that she was seeing a counselor at least for a short period of time. Or she found a counselor that was like, you know what? If you really need to post on social media because you need to wean or at least go in a different direction than what you was on, I get it. I'm going to monitor your shit and make sure it stays on point. Had I known she didn't have a counselor, man, listen. I would have had a different effect. Maybe she wouldn't have affected me the way I'm affected. It's like I'm watching as the world turns, but it's not the soap opera. It's real and cyber life. This is like the Matrix in 3D. I don't know Velvet personally. I don't know Nature Boy personally. I know that they are affecting Adults, possible children, to do crazy. And I'm saying they because I don't know where Velvet is. And right now, Velvet is associated with this man, whether she wants to be or not. Because I, too, like you, feel that if Velvet is not with Nature Boy, there should be no reason why she should contact somebody and let them personally say, yo, she's all right. I've seen the lives with her mom. I've seen the lives with the dad. How should they act? How should they react? I don't know these people very well. Should I judge them? Should I try to understand where they're coming from? And should I do the same to Velvet when she happens to magically appear like Lucky Charms, whether she's with Nature Boy or not? Should I keep my compassion? Should I shield it? Because now there's rumors and there's lies and there's this and there's that. And I remember that Olmec told me before this shit storm happened, he played some music on his, on his Instagram stories. Don't believe the rumors. And there were a lot of rumors. You keeping up to date. That shit is like breaking news. We ain't got to watch no Channel 11. Bong, Instagram. Bong, YouTube. Pop it. And who's winning? This narcissist. How many of these narcissists are winning right now? And do you know why the narcissists are winning? Because they're making the truth seekers and the people with good hearts and good intentions look like the liars and the narcissists. 
And it's to the point where the truth seekers can't even see who is also a truth seeker, who is a narcissist, who is a snake, who is a troll. And by the way, y'all, I still don't know what a troll is. It's like a spy. If the Jedi Order was the light and the Sith was the dark, the trolls would be the rest of us in between. Maybe having a high medical oracle uh, level. It can go towards the dark or the light and shifts between. Maybe we are the shapeshifters. Maybe trolls are the shapeshifters. Because trolls are controlling all kinds of shit. Some trolls we know, most trolls we don't. And trolls act and react for various reasons. This shit is crazy. Maybe this is war. Spy versus spy. Maybe this is the ultimate video game. No need to play Call of Duty. Play this shit. Don't get a gun. Or don't wave it online. And please, don't wave it in real life. Not at Nature Boy, not at anybody involved. So, why should we care? I've heard many reasons as to why we should care. I've given many reasons as to why I should care. I used to be with a narcissist. I know a couple now. And they are wreaking havocs amongst themselves and others. I have not spoken to the narcissist that impregnated me since we mm, since I lost my children. Like about a month and a half, two months after I had my surgery to keep myself alive. I use that to connect. To velvet situation. That was further bolstered when she got back with Omek. Then other questions started arising. Let's be smart. Let's be smart, everybody. Let's be smart. How do you stop a narcissist, everyone? I know this is not alive, so you cannot answer with me, but think for a little bit. Pause the video if you have to. How do you stop a narcissist? Remember, bitches hate being ignored. You cut off a narcissist completely. If you are married to one, if you have a child with one, you keep it in focus. You do not deflect towards anything that will benefit them. You focus on the thing that can defeat them, which in most cases, if you are in an intimate relationship with a narcissist, is a child. You keep it focused on the child. And then you will know a true narcissist because that narcissist will leave you and that child. Or sit there in resent mode for years because they are jealous that this child gets more attention than them. Okay? So how do you defeat a narcissist? How do you cut off a narcissist when the narcissist is supposed to be on the light side, on the Jedi side? How can you go after someone on the Sith side who is not the leader or not the narcissist or is being manipulated just like everybody else? And then you ask, what about the person in question now? Are they truly damsels in distress? Or are they covert narcissists themselves? Were they born this way? Did Nature Boy breed them to be this way? Who are the firstborn children of this virus? of this nature boy virus. There are people 
who are infected helping and don't even know that they are infected, don't realize how infected they are, and not infected because they have turned into the liars, but infected because they're in some other drama that deflects from the main topic at hand, helping people. Even if those people don't want your help, even if they don't understand your help. But you cannot let that help turn into selfish service. And this is for certain narcissists out there who claim to be on the side of the light. There's a boundary. If you are a true truth seeker, please continue to seek the truth. Let no one else distract you from here and there. Look for the truth. And even when you do get distracted, it is okay. Awareness, discriminative discernment, use them continuously. Even when you stumble, even when you fall. At first, this video was going to be, if the guru stumbles and falls, what happens when the daughter of the guru stumbles and falls? When the children of the guru stumble and fall? This is no longer about velvet. This is no longer even about nature boy. This is about what a narcissist has created. This is how a narcissist creates his own matrix and how we are affected by that matrix. Which pill have you taken? How far deep in the rabbit hole have you really gone? Is it about views? Is it about wrenches? Is it about clout? Is it about you disrespecting me? Is this what the first narcissist wanted in the first place? Because at the end of the day, we are still talking about this narcissist and this sector that is named after this narcissist is infected with a virus that has created new viruses. New panaceas. New pangeas. New salves, no cures, just preventions. Some are cough medicines. Just masking the symptoms until the true thing goes away. It's not going to go away if we're in a world war, folks. We'll just have little battles here and there and then it dies down for a little while. And then BAM! Starts back up again. How do we solve the problem? And what is the original problem in the first place? Is the problem really Nature Boy at this point? Is the problem Velvet? Is the problem the people at Carbonation? Or is the problem LaTanya Jones? Yes, for the first time I've said her name. Is the problem Foot on Neck? Or is the problem you and me? Is Vic a problem? Or is he a panacea? Is he a Pangea? Is he something that wakes your ass up? What if Vic was Morpheus? For most of you. I got my own Morpheus. I took my own pill. It's not Vic, but it's a question. Think about it. Are you a troll? And that question, are you a troll, is really for the people who say, who cares? If it's about who cares, why are you here? If it really was about who cares, let's stop talking about this. You'd have jumped out a long time ago. Because a lot of these people now have roots in this earth. 
that is the YouTube streets and the Instagram streets and the real live streets that are infected by this nature boy virus. The only difference between the person that says, who cares? And the person that says, how did I get here? And the person that says, what can I do? And the person that says, I don't give a fuck. And the person that says, I'm going to ride off this shit no matter how. Financially, emotionally, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to use this to my advantage. What's the difference between all of us? Just the levels of the virus that we have ingested. That's it. Should I feel sorry for those who have had a direct download with that virus? Or should I be more worried about myself? What is compassion? And can I dip in the pools of apathy to get the greatest compassion that I should have? What about you? What should you do? Maybe you should just turn back on Love and Hip Hop. Or maybe you should remember that re- these are real people and there are real children out there. Maybe you should just figure out the truth and that's it. What is the truth? Remember, all I care about at this point is that Velvet and her baby, her baby, her baby is safe. Once I know they safe, I'm good. I don't give a rat's ass if Velvet is in Panama or if she's sitting on the toilet at a homegirl's house. Are you safe? I ain't talking about the state of your mind. Like I said, she could be in Panama. Are you safe? Are you alive? Is this a conscious decision of yours? If the answer is yes, there's absolutely nothing I can do. If that baby still look good, happy, and healthy like she did when she was up in Babylon, I'm fucking amazing. All that is velvet and narcissist. Why she did that to old Mac? Why she go back with nature boy? Why the... Man, that is irrelevant to me at this point in time. It has become so. This is how I dispel myself of this virus. I have to stay focused on one thing now. Is Velvet and this baby safe? We gonna get to dispelling the lies later. Because I am in this nature boy sector now. I can't just jump out like that. There's too many different bred narcissists in this nature boy, nature boy virus that needs to be plucked out and thrown the hell away. Too many. And the only person that I have named that I will say is one of those people is LaTanya Jones. I don't think that about Vic. I don't. I really don't. That's why I asked you a question. Is he Morpheus? Is he hurting or is he helping? That depends on who you ask. That depends on perspective. I'm talking about LaTanya Jones. I'm talking about other people who may or may not have lied to get their own way. I ain't worried about donations right now. Fuck a donation. That's a conscious choice of somebody. Whether they donated to Nature Boy or whether they donated to me. Okay? And ain't nobody donate to my ass, so fuck it. Right? I'm not worried about a donation. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about a donation that you gave to Velvet because you gave it because you thought something good. There's very few people who gave some sort of a gift or donation to Velvet that's going to sit there and say, I knew she was up to no good, so I'm going to send her a fucking donation. That's just plain stupid. That's dumb to think. I'm sure each and every person that gave a donation or, or joined her raffle or some other shit like this said in their heart of hearts that I have a great intention. I want her to do well. I'm glad she's doing well. I'm glad she's looking healthy and she's doing right for the baby. Let me support this girl so she don't go back over there or, you know, she get on her feet and she end up good, you know, 
Fairy tale complete. Cinderella, everything's popping. Whatever the reasoning behind it. I went through it. I don't want her to go through it. Let me help her out. Right? You wanted to do a selfless service. That's karma yoga right there. You did that. Don't be mad if, if, if she ain't telling the truth. If she scammed some of y'all. And we don't even know if that's the case yet. At the end of the day. Let me put y'all on the game. When she first said that she had a man, she never said who that man was. Old Mac was, you know, jumping in the, the, the chat, hey, in the comment, hey. But they never said that they was together. It wasn't until Nature Boy said that they was together that everybody and their mama jumped on that bullshit. I wasn't fooled, y'all. I was like, you know what? Even if them people are together... I don't give a shit. I'm going to wait for them to tell it. Because that's their business to tell. That's not his business to tell. And I'm not that deep in the Nature Boy virus to just listen to whatever the fuck he say. Because no matter what he say, it's going to turn into attention for him. That is his fuel. That is his energy. I'm not giving him that. Finally, Velvet and Omac themselves said, yeah, we together. All right, very good. Everybody happy now. Nobody at that point even stopped to think, damn, how did Nature Boy know that shit? And they, these motherfuckers they ain't even say nothing like that. You know, he just speculated and we just jumped on it. And they just said, yay. Nobody said, hey, why would Velvet even reveal that? Did she have an ulterior motive? Or she was just like, fuck it. Let me tell it since he spilt the beans. Let me just tell it now. You ain't think like that? Don't beat yourself up, man. Don't beat yourself up. Let's have a patient energy. Let's continue with this patient energy. Sit back and watch the shit unfold. Watch the truth jump out of somebody's mouth or plop the fuck out their ass. Watch the vehicles and the vessels of these truth slayers, truth seekers, truth tellers. Sit back, watch. Wait for Velvet to pop up alive because that's what the fuck I hope for. Her sister can jump on the mama's live and, and type to me that she's safe. Okay, great. Thank you for keeping me nice right now. But at this point, I need Velvet to jump out of the bushes and be like, yo, I'm good. And then you can jump back in the fucking bushes. I'm good. And jump out with your baby. And let's make sure the baby look good and she alive. And then you can jump back into whatever the fuck you want to jump back into. I got some... Super blue worm moon Florida water, y'all. I'm going to take a shower. And I'll put some of this Florida water on me. Because this is how I purge from this fucking virus right here. I go to sleep. I get a good amount of hours. I go to work. Now, before I go, I need to thank the following people. Carbonation Clips, Auntie Miracle B, Victor Moan, The T, The Squad, and The Carbonation, Poidras, I Don't Give a Fuck, and Asshole Cutthroat, Kiss the Veil, uh, Pink Banana Ice Cream, all the people that I have not mentioned that helped me to filter out the bullshit. Because God forbid I try to watch Latanya Jones or Nature Boy directly and I swear there are holes being burned in my fucking eyes and my brain. You know your eyes are co connected to your brain. It's just a little bitty space between your eyes and your brain. 
Lord, I feel the space getting bigger and my Abdullah Oblongata getting shorter and smaller and, and fucking disintegrating, yo. So I need these people to filter. They're like blue blockers for me. Okay? I give thanks to anybody that allows me to see the bullshit and see through the bullshit safely. Y'all motherfuckers are my blue blockers. I appreciate you. And I thank you so much. Y'all help me navigate through the YouTube and the IG streets. Thank you to my teachers. Y'all know who you are. Sis and Ab, y'all teachers too. Thank you. Thank you to my sisterhood. Thank you. Because y'all are filters too. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jephus. Thank you, Allah. Thank you, Buddha. You see, I said the name right today. Thank you, Kali. Thank you, Durga. Shiva. Ganesha. Who I miss? Mary. Jojo. Most high God and goddess. Thank you, everybody. For helping me not be too infected with this motherfucking virus. I am infected. And I seek help every day. Okay? So thank you to the people that help dispel the ignorance. Okay? Y'all gurus right now. Thank you to the legends. Lurker, grand grand. I am legend. They are legend, y'all. Love Jersey. Legend, y'all. Whatever y'all did, thank you. Even if it ain't work out, thank you. Okay, thank you. I'm going to thank you for what they did. Thank you. And if everybody's a human, y'all, and I got to look at all y'all like fucking humans, God damn it. Thank you for the entertainment. Cosmic jokes keep coming, y'all. Tell me. Well, I'm just going to jump back into the bullshit now. Y'all have a great one. Bye.